Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all you I came out there pushing this word with all truth and sincerity. And to all you believers out there who believe it on the gospel. And it's the brother Kwara Abad from the GMS Houston camp. Now, I uh, <clears throat> just want to go into a lesson. You know, Lord willing, it'll be a, a nice little quick lesson, edifying lesson. But it's something that, um, you know, um, you know that I, I try to meditate upon often, often, and um, it's, it's focusing on your walk. You know, focusing on your own individual walk. You know, now what I mean by that is, don't it's not letting somebody else's actions or somebody else's beliefs or you see. All things that other people do, right, make us fall. You know, in other words, like people without the truth. You see, you try to tell people the truth, or you know, you try to uh, feed feed Jake. You know, your family members, the ones without the truth, they might scoff, laugh at it, say it's stupid. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know. Now, say, hey, like the scripture says, be fully persuaded, man. Right, be fully persuaded of what that is, Romans 14. Now, if you're not fully persuaded, you're gonna feel some type of way. You be like, damn. Well, I guess it do sound kind of stupid, you know. So, you know, my family think it's stupid. My girl, she 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 think don't not eating pork, you stupid. Well, you know, I agree. You see, and hey, that happened to people, man. Like like Yahweh Shai gave the example of, of um, seeds falling on a certain ground. And it just don't have to be about the doctrine either. There may be that you starting to be around your old partners from the world a little bit too much. And they still doing that old nigga shit, man. You know, and then your old man could try to creep back on you. You see, that's a form of getting you out the truth. Uh, as Yahweh Shai told Peter, Satan desiring to sift you, man. You see? Or another example, even people uh, in the truth, man. People in the truth say you you following the correct doctrine, but you start watching other videos of other camps, you know, uh, 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 ITR. You start watching ITR videos. Now you start saying we don't know who the tribes is, or, or, or the earth flat, you know, or it ain't missiles in the Bible, and you start believing that, man. You see, you making the things that others say make you fall, man. Or even brothers, it, it might be brothers in, in your camp, you know, brothers in the, in the same camp as you, because a brother might be able to live a certain lifestyle, right? That don't mean that you can live that same lifestyle, man. You see, and that goes into this, like you said in um, 2 Corinthians 13, we have to examine our own. As a matter of fact, let's get that. Let's start with that, you know, and I'll uh, finish with the point. You know, just going on to, hey, we got to know the task the task at hand. Each one of us got lots. Each, each one of us got a portion from the Heavenly Father, man. You remember, he said it's one body with many members. Each member got a different part, you know. The ear can't be the nose. The, the elbow can't be the hand. We all have to do our own part in this truth, man. We can't let people out the truth make us fall. We can't let people in the truth and other camps, other doctrines make us fall. Or even the ones around us make us fall. We gotta uh, uh, do our part for the body, man. And it don't have to always be somebody else that make you fall. Take it a step further, even our own selves, man. You see? Hey, Yahweh Shai said, he who hates not his mother, uh, father, brother, sister, children, even his own life <laughs> for my sake, you feel me? Hey, you know, he can't be my disciple, so on and so forth. But even our own selves, man. But let me get this real quick. This 2 Corinthians 13. 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. It says, examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves. You see, prove your own selves. Know what you made of. Know what you can do and what you can't do, man. And shit, when we take falls, you know, that should be a lesson for us to... Uh, well, to check ourselves, man See what we need to change about ourselves But, I'm gonna finish it off It says, know ye not yourselves How that Mashiach is in you Except you be reprobates, you see But examine ourselves and prove our own selves, man But going back to the point, as I was saying We shouldn't let nobody else Out the truth in the truth You know, I'm gonna get a few examples on You know, other men focusing on 
another guy and he slip up and fall, man. Or listen to somebody else and you slip up and fall and forget what the Lord told you individually, what the Lord, what the push of the Lord gave you individually, man. And that's for each and every one of us. You see, hey, especially in the times of uh, Jacob's trouble, man, we won't have videos of other brothers to listen to or other brothers to be around for advice or correction, man. So we're going to have to remember what we have been taught individually, man, your own faith. We're going to have to ste step on, our, uh, stand on our own faith in that day. Philippians 2 and 12, I did enough rambling. Lord Willen's lesson be at a fine. Philippians 2 and 12, it says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, right? Not just around brothers. We do what we got to do. It says, but now much more in my absence. We're going to have to do it much more when we alone, man. You see? When you alone, man, hey, you know yourself better when you examine yourself. You know yourself better when you have time to chill. Hey, like it says, um, and, uh, what that is, Sirach, when it says, uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing, but a man become wise by way of his leisure time, man. You see, it says, but this is the point. But now, much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. We have to work out our own salvation, man. You see, another man can't do it for us. You know, another man can't do it for us, man. Hey, Yahweh Shai will come back to reward each man according to his works. You see? Right? But let me get an example real quick. Like I said, um, you so focused on, hey, another person. You forget what was told you. You forget the laws. Or you, you forget the task at hand. So on and so forth. And the example I want to get is with Caiaphas, man. You know, he was saying, you know, the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, they were so, the law this, the law that. But him being worried about your Hawashai, right? Instead of worrying about himself, he went, he went ahead and broke the law as the high priest. Let's get that. All right, so this is Matthew 26, and uh, I'm going to start up a little bit, then I'm going to get another uh, example after this, man. But this is Matthew 26, and I'm going to start at 59. It says, now the chief priests and elders and all the council sought false witness against Yahawashah to put him to death. Because remember, Yahawashah was cutting him left and right with the scriptures, man. You see, they was feeling played, thought he was coming to take their place, you know. So on and so forth. So they wanted to put Jehovah Shai to death. It says, but found none. Yeah. Though many false witnesses came, yet found they none. At the last came two false witnesses and said, this fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. And the high priest, right? So listen to this. The high priest and the high priest arose and said unto him, answerest thou nothing? What is it which these witnesses witness against thee? So, Caiaphas is like telling you, how was you ain't going to answer? Them, all these accusations they bringing up against you, you ain't got nothing to say, right? It says, but Yahweh held this peace, and the high priest answered and said unto him, I adjure thee by the living God that thou tellest, whether thou be the Mashiach, the son of the Most High. Yahweh said unto him, thou hast said, Nevertheless, I say unto you, hereafter shall you see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest rent his clothes, saying, He have spoken blasphemy. What further need have we of witnesses? Behold, now ye have heard his blasphemy. Now, what was the point in this? Where did Caiaphas go off at? Him being so mad, he let his, his emotions get the best of him. Him being so mad, he let his emotions get the best of him and what he did. He forgot about the law. Now, remember, the point I want to get this, he was so gung-ho about the law, the law, this law, that. Why you hit him on the Sabbath? Moses said to stone him, <laughs> right? You see? But he forgot the law because he let his emotions overcloud his judgment. Because it said what? Then the high priest rent his clothes. Now, let's get the law on that because the high priest ain't supposed to rent his clothes. You see? Now, hey, again, I'm making this point because he was so about the law. But the focus on another man made him slip up and go off. Right? This Leviticus 21 and 10. And he that is the high priest among his brethren, upon whose head the anointing oil was poured, 
that is consecrated to put on the garments shall not uncover his head nor rent his clothes. You see that? That's the law for the high priest. And what he did, letting his emotions get in the way, <laughs> focusing on Yahweh Shai, he rent his clothes. The same thing for us. Hey, men in this truth in other camps, we can't let what they say or do make us go off from what the Lord had told us, man. Let's get let's get another example. Let's get another example. I don't want to say a better example, but to expound on a point a little more, man. Like the scripture says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. Well, we get the wisdom and knowledge from the scriptures, man. Or from brothers. Well, look. What the scriptures say, that's what we're supposed to do. Thus save your how about she how shy, right? Well, when we get in trouble sometimes, we can't let adversity allow us to forget what's written. Or can't let a a adversity or emotions overcloud our judgment in the time now and in the time of Jacob's trouble. You see? Right? This first Kings 13. And I'm gonna start at because it's going into um, a prophet. He was going, you know, in and out on his journey. The Most High gave him strict commands. Don't don't eat, don't drink, don't go the same way, right? And um, But him listening to another man and forget what the Lord told him. Yeah, I understand another man told you what the Lord told him. But what the Lord told you, though, right? That's why I want to get this one, man. You see? Uh, okay, I'm going to just hop straight into it, man. This first Kings 13 and 6. And the king answered and said unto the man of God, Entreat now the face of Yahweh thy power, and pray for me, that my hand may be restored me again. And the man of God besought the Lord, and the king's hand was, re was restored again, and became as it were before. And the king said unto the man of God, Come home with me, and refresh thyself, and I will give thee a reward. And the man of God said unto the king, if thou will give me half thine house, I will not go with thee. Neither will I eat bread nor drink water in this place. He about to tell you why. For so it was charged me by the word of Yahweh. So he was commanded by the Lord saying, eat no bread, nor drink water, nor turn again by the same way that thou camest. Right? Now we see he passed the first test. He ain't fall for it. You know? Satan, Satan was trying to go ahead and get him, but he ain't fall for it. He told him, look, hey, I had a strict command. I can't come with you. But let's see what's going to happen next. So he went another way and returned not by the way that he came to Bethel. Now, there dwelt a old prophet in Bethel. And his son came and told him all the words that the man of God had done that day, that day in Bethel. Of the words which he had spoken unto the king. That they told also to their fathers. So this is the sons of the old prophet. Once they seen the young prophet doing works. Like he said he restored the king's hand. So they ran and told their pops. Like hey man it's a young prophet. Out here doing works. Spirit of the Lord on them. So on and so forth right. Verse 12. And their father said unto them. What way went he? For his sons had seen. What way the man of God went. Which he came from Judah. And he said unto his son, saddle me the ass. So they saddled him the ass and he rode thereon and went after the man of God and found him sitting under an oak. And he said unto him, art thou the man of God that came from Judah? And he said, I am. Then he said unto him, come home with me and eat bread. And he said, I may not return with thee. So the old prophet told him, come eat with me. But remember what was... What the Most High commanded him, don't eat, don't drink, don't go in the same way, right? So he says, then he said unto him, come home and eat bread. And he said, I may not return with thee, nor go with thee. Neither will I eat bread, nor drink water with thee in this place. For it was said to me by the word of Yahweh, just like the things that we read is said to us by the word of the Most High, right? It says, it was said to me by the word of Yahweh that thou shalt eat no bread, nor drink water there, nor turn again to go by the way that thou camest, right? Now you see, that was the second time he passed the second test. He told him, look, I can't go with you. I had a command. So he passed that, but let's see if he hold fast to what he was told, man. Let's see if he was rooted and grounded on what he was told. And he said it to him. So after the, the young prophet told him, look, the most high commanded me this. 
So the old prophet going to say this. He said unto him, I am a prophet also. And the angel spake unto me by the word of Yahweh. So he said, an angel that told me, saying, bring him back with thee into thine house that he may eat bread and drink water. But he lied unto him. Now, this was a prophet saying, look, man, I'm a prophet too, Ak. Right, Ak. I'm a prophet too, Ak. And the angel had came to me and told me to tell you, <laughs> come eat and drink with me. Now, what the scripture says, if, if another man preach another gospel or angel from heaven, don't listen to him, man. Because what, 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 what was told to us by the most high? What did you read? What did you listen to in the video? You see, what was it that, that truly made each and every one of us believe that this was the truth? And that was the, the gospel that we heard of men, heard from the apostles of Great Millstone, like it said in what? Thessalonians 2 and 13, I believe. We ain't believe it as it said, we ain't believe it as it was the words of men, but as it is in truth, the words of the heavenly father, man. This was the word that we heard and said, this is the way walking in it, right? Well, these are gonna be the same words that's gonna lead to everlasting life, man. And that what we was told not to forget and hold fast to. Going back to the point, <laughs> don't let nobody knock you off from the track of serving the Lord. Don't let nobody actions or what they say make you fall, man. Right? So let's get back to it. It says, but he lied. Wait a minute. But he lied unto him. So he went back with him. So the young man said, okay, shit, you a prophet. And the angel told you I'm coming. But forgot what the Lord told him, no. Now remember, that's why that, that, um... That Romans 14 and point, I'm gonna snag it real quick and go back to that, man. When it, especially in what that is, Philippians or Colossians to be rooted and grounded in Yahushai, man, uh, Yahushai, man, being set in what we was taught, man. But real quick, Romans 14, because it said this, Romans 14 and five, one man esteem of one day above another, another esteem of every day alike. And that's another point to make. A brother might grow faster than us, you know, or you might go faster than another brother. It's all according to, to, to that man walk that the Lord then gave him, man. It says, let every man individually be fully persuaded in his own mind. We each got to know what we fighting for, man. Each one of us got to know what's on the line. That crown, our life, our souls, man. But going back to that um, First Kings, this first Kings, like your first Kings 13. And let's see. Uh, verse 19. It says, so he went back with him and did eat bread in his house and drink water. And it came to pass as they said at the table that the word of the Lord came unto the prophet that brought him back. So they eaten. Right. And it says, and he cried unto the man of God that came from Judah saying, thus saith Yahweh. For as much as thou has disobeyed the mouth of Yahweh, now this coming from the one who lied. This coming from the prophets, like well, I'm a prophet too. The angel told him, no. Now they eating together, but the spirit of the Lord hopped on the prophet who lied, and now he condemning the other one, saying, "Shit, you ain't listen to the Lord. Why you listen to me? You don't want to be caught up in that situation, regretting like damn, right?" It says, and he cried unto the man of God that came from Judah, saying, Thus save Yahweh, for as much as thou hast disobeyed the mouth of Yahweh and has not kept the commandment which Yahweh thy power commanded thee, but came his back and has eaten and drinking, or eaten bread and drinking water in the place of that which Yahweh did say to thee, eat no bread and drink no water, thy carcass shall not come unto the sepulchre of thy fathers. And it came to pass after he had eaten bread and after he had drunk that he saddled for him the ass to wit for the prophet whom he had brought back. And when he was gone, a lion met him by the way and slew him and his carcass was cast in the way and the ass stood by it, and the lion also stood by the carcass. The most high put him to death. Hey, and check this out. You can't blame the man who lied, right? The most high go blame the one who, who he told specifically, man. That's why uh, for us, it says, um, if we don't do what the Lord said, what? He going to beat us with what? Many stripes. You see? We was given the path to walk on. Hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai wants us to stay on that path. 
right? That's why they in that's why the words of Yahawasha are so important, man. Because no, hey, what well, what Yahawasha said, no matter what come our way, the rains, the the floods, the winds, we're gonna be still upon that rock, man. Following the land, whether so over he go off. But even in Jacob's trouble, we can't forget the Lord said certain things to us. When they say, come over here, don't go with them because I ain't over them. Right? When you see the when the troops come in, run. They ain't, you know, don't listen to a uh, heathen. You asking heathens for advice in Jacob's trouble. You know, two-thirds, man, what should I do? Where, where to go? Where to get help? Man, what the Lord told you. Right? What do the scriptures say? What have we been studying this whole time? Right? What have we been watching videos for to get built up for that time, man? And that's why these words, again, Isaiah 33 and 6, um, wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of our times. And that's why the things that was written aforetime, Romans 15 and 4, was written for our learning that we through faith and comfort other scriptures, comfort of what we've been taught, we're going to have hope to what we about to come into, man. And it's all been written. We're going to be stable in those days by the words that we have been taught. Because we're going to have the confidence. We're going to be protected. Because why? We read it in the scriptures. If you get thrown into a concentration camp, you're going to have the confidence that you'll be able to get out of there. Because why? You're going to think about an angel saving Peter out of one. Just, you know, many other examples, man. But uh, let me get this real quick, man pretty much the point but let me get this second Ezra six so like a second Ezra seven and six there is also another thing a city is built and set upon a broad field and it's full of all good things and this city is talking about the kingdom which we all trying to get to and we on that journey of walking to it but on the way to this journey is about to tell us how we got to go to that journey man it says the entrance thereof is narrow and it's set in a dangerous place to fall like as if there were a fire on the right hand and a water on the deep left and only one path between them both even between the fire and the water so small that there could but one man go there at once on this path to the kingdom you have to walk your own walk i have to walk my own walk you see we all have to walk our own walk to the kingdom man yahweh shy in the garden of gethsemane before he got crucified he wanted the disciples to stay up with him when he was heavy hearted but they kept falling asleep why because he had to do go through that himself man the servant ain't greater than the master right you see let me snag this because i mentioned it earlier before i forget this revelation okay, it's revelation 3 and 11 it says behold i come quickly hold that fast which thou hast in each one of us through the grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashim al we have the truth. You see, it says, Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which, which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. We all have the crown in our hand by where this truth, but we have to hold it fast and we go get the physical crown. You see, but Yahweh Shai said, Let nobody take it. Don't let another man stray you away from Yahweh Shai. Ourselves, man. You see. We got to continue to follow the Lamb with us wherever you go of, man, and live. Live by what the Lamb say. You know, and all, hey, shit, we all continue to grow. We all getting better, man. But we, we got to put in that effort, man. You see? It says, let no man take thy crown. You know? Like it said, we all run in the race, but uh, run that ye may obtain, man. We all running, but run that you going to finish. You going to go through the finish line. You see? You know? But, man, you know, I just wanted to, you know, go through that a little quick lesson. You know, Lord willing, it was that a fine. You know, hey, we still on the task at hand, man. You see? On the task at hand. Nobody, like men and brother, y'all not, but I went into a lesson uh, a couple of days ago. You know, we have to have our own faith in this truth, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to end it with this, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians um, 3 and 12. Now, if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood hand stubble every man's work shall be made manifest every man work gonna, is gonna be found out what you made of each and every one of us for the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is it's gonna be we all gonna be found out what we made of man you see another man can't help us be gold another man can't help us be silver 
You see? Right? It says, if any man work or buy which he have built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. Right? If you preach the word and you bring people in the truth, you're going to receive a reward for bringing that man in the truth. It says, but if any man works shall be burnt, if he, the, your fruit that you brought into the truth fall out. It says, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. But you still going to get your reward because you did what you had to do, man. You see, but Lord willing, this lesson was that a fine, you know, want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, 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 Yahweh,